I'll give you five seconds to tell me how many albums Hollywood Undead have released. Go ahead. Go ahead. You still got time. It's not in the title or anything. What's up everyone? John from ARTV. It's time for a review of five. Yes, the fifth album by Hollywood Undead. A rap rock, new metal, hard rock, multi-genre band that have been known for their onstage antics, big stage presence in terms of their live shows, just an angry presence in general in their music, and uh, I've even still got a few copies of their albums floating around from back in my scene days. Yeah, I've still got the CD copy of Swan Songs right here in my hands. That's the only one I still own at this point. The others I have either given away or else traded in. But I do have a special place in my heart, I guess, for that music because my senior year of high school, myself and many of my friends were so into them and just this vibe and the chaotic presence that they had and how they felt so out of control and rebellious. And looking back at it, I can look fondly at some of these songs. For a little bit, I went through this phase where I was just like, I'm so done with them, I don't want to listen to this band. And that was right around when Day of the Dead came out in 2015. And not that I'm a fan of that album by any means, it's just that some of the stuff I have fond enough memories of that I can go back to, revisit it, give it a listen, and it's not that awful. Hollywood Undead's album title 5 makes sense for two reasons. Yes, this is their fifth album, but now they are a five-piece. Five members in the band, as recently announced at the beginning of October, they said that De Curls, aka their drummer, was no longer in the band. Many people are theorizing that that's because he didn't really contribute creatively, he only did screams on a few tracks over the years, he wasn't one of the rappers or one of the instrumentalists that wrote his own parts or helped with lyrics and that sort of thing, so if that is why he was removed from the band, and keep in mind that is just a theory, then I understand that. So, five members in the band at this point. Charlie Scene, j Dog, Johnny Three Tears, Danny, Funny Man. Five people collectively creating music. What do we get as we dive into this record? Is it better than Day of the Dead, or is it just more of the same? I would say five is a slight tick up in quality, but it's not that big of a step away from Day of the Dead, which was overall a very flat, mundane, uninteresting project that saw Hollywood Undead trying to be Hollywood Undead but not seeming like they knew how to do it with any kind of fresh ideas other than adding in some weird EDM leaning dance hits that just didn't work and unfortunately we get more of that here. I mean Riot is one of the worst songs that I have heard all year long. It's just one of those generic songs where you're like yeah like oh we're so wild we're crazy what are we gonna do with all this energy? Oh, let's, let's start a riot. Ooh, drop the beat. This album is all over the place. It really doesn't know what it wants to be. It constantly rides the line between leaning towards electronic music and then hard rock, aka their lead single, California Dreaming, which I thought was actually pretty good in the title, I believe is an homage to the Mamas and Papas songs, California Dreamin', so that's always cool. It's a good enough song. It definitely gets you amped up. But this album cannot just take that potential and run with it, unfortunately. It kind of flounders it, and throughout this 14-song track listing, we dance between EDM, the hard rock, the rapping, and just some slower, odd moments like Ghost Beach, a song about L.A. that talks about how they feel jaded about it, and Danny just isn't sounding as good as a vocalist these days. It really is disappointing to me because I think he had some great moments in their discography, like Lion, where he just unleashes, Notes from the Underground being my favorite record from them, Coming in Hot on American Tragedy was fantastic, and even on Day of the Dead, Dead Bite was a great song. I'm sorry, that was actually, wow, that was Notes from the Underground. Fuck me, right? It's a convoluted and complicated listen because it takes some of the most mundane Dane and ordinary qualities of Hollywood and Dead and puts them under a magnifying glass because at this point five albums in we're looking for something perhaps a little bit more and then they present us with some of these songs like Whatever It Takes which is great enough in terms of its instrumental I like that it does overall have an anthemic appeal to it but I feel like they've done that so many times every album has one Been to Hell is 
one of those, Young, obviously, from Swan Songs. And then looking forward through their future discography, you can see them leaning towards these tendencies more and more over time. And it's like they use that anthem song as a crutch, and each cycle they fall further on that crutch. And it's like, how are you going to get back up? How are you going to bring new ideas to the table whenever your lead singles are not exactly presenting us with anything captivating or fresh? And I understand that fans aren't necessarily looking for a life-changing album from Hollywood Undead. And that's why I'm not going super hard on it, because it's fine. At surface level, it's fine. The rapping is okay. I still think Charlie Scene is the most interesting thing about this band. I like his verses. He's still pretty funny and witty, but some of the moments just really make me take a second look, like Broken Record, for example. I mean, he really just gets quite generic where he's talking about, you know, some days he's so hard on himself because he doesn't feel legit, and it reminds me of that scene from Hot Rod. But now, I'm not legit. I'm unlegit. And for that reason, I must quit. There's definitely some more serious lyrical content covered here, but that's been the case since their first album, and they did it so much better even back then. I mean, the diary is just the epitome of anger, sadness, and depression. And whenever you're getting it right way back in the day, but now you sound like a shadow of yourselves, something is just going wrong. What do I like about this album? What songs does this guy like? What does it take to make him happy? I know that's what some of you watching this video are probably wondering to yourselves. So we'll talk about a few songs I enjoy, but seriously, I do kind of hate that mentality that a lot of their fan base has, and the band themselves echo it even on this very album. They talk about, fuck your review, you know, they don't care. They're going to burn it to the ground, and that's fine. If that's how you feel, you can leave it at any time. It's just my opinion, but if not, stick around, hear about what I liked about the album. Noted previously, I really do enjoy California Dreaming, the lead single and the opening track on this record. It's a fiery one. It opens up with some loud guitars, something that was missing from Day of the Dead big time, and I like this track. It definitely has an appeal to it. Ones like Renegade do it for me as well. Even though I don't like 100% of the lyrics, they get quite cheesy, and that's one of my biggest problems with this album overall, but a song like Renegade is just fine. I like the dark appeal of Black Cadillac, where they're talking about just kind of rolling around the city, all of the misfits, and it's just rem reminiscent of their older stuff. It's got that dark vibe to it that will draw a lot of people in, and I think that this is the first guest feature that I really remember Hollywood Undead having. I don't care for the electronic opening of Prey, Put Them in the Dirt, but that song actually gets pretty good. J3T, Johnny Three Tears is the star of the show there. Your Life, the closing moment, is another one that gets the whole gang together and it really feels like their chemistry pays off on a moment like that. And I do like seeing them in a bigger setting, one that is more angry in a sense and one that is just louder in general. Some of these mid-tempo songs that just ride the line on this album just get to me. Nobody's Watching is one of the cheesiest songs I've heard all year long. Just an absolute bomb on this record in the worst way possible. Bad Moon, Ghost Beach coming back to back. Not that they're awful inherently, I just feel like they feature a little bit too much of Danny. He doesn't sound fantastic on the vocals, on the cleans there by any means. And songs like that just bore me because whenever they all come together, they do have a chemistry where they play off of each other and make more interesting and even emotional songs. I know it's possible because I've heard it in the past, and here it just feels like they're kind of riding the line and seem like a watered down version of themselves. But overall, Another disappointing album from me. I don't think I'm going to be coming back to the majority of this outside of a few tracks. I do miss the sound of things like Notes from the Underground. It really felt like they were maturing overall on that album, but they just haven't struck the right chords since then. I'm going to give this new album 5 by Hollywood Undead a 2.5 out of 5. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments section down below. Be sure to drop a like on this review, and if you would like to see another Hollywood Undead review, it is right over here. Another recent rock review right here. All of my social media can be found in the description, and if you're able to, please support me on Patreon at that annotation in the corner or else the top link. I'll see you very soon on ARTV.